Hi everybody, Wendy from Cinnamon Sweet Shop. Now, a while ago, like oh, well over a year ago, I did a video about using cocoa butter as an ingredient in food. And since I made that video, several of you have asked me if I could do another video using cocoa butter in, in a recipe. So today I'm gonna to be making some cocoa butter cookies with some chocolate chips. And what you'll need, the cocoa butter, make sure you get food quality, uh, food grade cocoa butter to use, not the stuff you find in the cosmetic section. I do have it linked where you can buy purchase this best price I could find. One egg, you have some baking powder, baking soda, and some kosher salt, ground nutmeg. Using semi-sweet chocolate chips, you could use bittersweet chocolate chips or milk chocolate chocolate chips. My Earthbound Vegan Buttery Spread, whole wheat pastry flour, some vanilla extract, and I'm also using my toasted sugar that I did in a previous video. I also have that linked below where you can make learn how to make your own. Start by chopping up your cocoa butter into chunks. On a low temperature, melt your cocoa butter. Once it's melted, Pour your cocoa butter into a fairly large mixing bowl. I'm using a thermometer and I want to wait for this to cool to about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it reaches 90 degrees, add in the sugar, the baking powder and baking soda, salt, and the nutmeg and the butter, or your buttery sticks in my case. We want to cream this together and it's going to take about three minutes. With mixer running at a low speed, I'm going to add the egg. And then the vanilla extract. And then continue mixing this. Add in all of your flour at once, and then continue to beat just until well combined. I'm just going to give this a quick stir to make sure all the flour is mixed. And then from here, we're going to hand stir in the chocolate chips. Now I'm using a cookie sheet line with a silicone mat. You could also use parchment paper if you don't happen to have one of these. And I like to use a medium sized cookie scoop. This is about two tablespoons. And I'm going to place the cookies on the sheet about two inches apart because they will spread. I'm baking these at a 350 degree oven until they're puffy, which is going to take about 15 minutes. Here they are. They're done. They're so delicious. You can really taste the caramelly flavor of that toasted sugar in here, as well as the cocoa butter. The recipes on my website, cinnamonsweetshop.com. Stick around for many more recipes coming up. Check out some of my older videos as well. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. See you all next time.